Latest Canada Travel Updates After the rise of the Omicron variant, Canadian officials added travel restrictions. In this video update, we will tell you how you may be affected. After the emergence of Omicron variant, the Government of Canada implemented a number of new travel restrictions. Passengers from 10 African countries were affected, with added limitations last week. The affected countries include Botswana, Egypt, Eswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Nigeria, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. Non-Canadian nationals who have been to any of these nations inside the past two weeks are currently not permitted to enter Canada. The new rules also affect Canadian nationals and permanent residents traveling from these nations. They have to attain a COVID-19 test in a third country so as to go back home. A provisional rule is presently in place, which permits Canadians to get tested in South Africa, one of the countries with entry bans. The order in Council for banning specific countries from crossing Canadian border is ongoing until at least January 31, 2022. Only Canadian nationals and permanent residents from these nations may enter, but they still have to follow stringent health measures. Furthermore, Canada reinstated on arrival testing and quarantine for travelers from all countries except the US. Completely vaccinated travelers must take a test on arrival and quarantine at home until they get the outcomes. Today, we will do our best to make it stress-free for you to view the new regulations before planning your trip to Canada. Now, let's tell you what you should do before you travel. The Government of Canada's website provides a web tool to assist incoming passengers learn if they are permitted to enter the country. Please keep in mind that this online tool does not guarantee entry. Only the border officer will have the final decision on whether or not you can travel to Canada. Irrespective of your vaccination status, you still require a 14-day quarantine plan in case the officer decides that you need to self-isolate. All passengers age 5 and up must give evidence of a negative COVID-19 test taken inside 72 hours of the planned departure or arrival at a land border crossing. If you have a positive test result, it needs to be between 14 and 180 days old. So as to be acknowledged as fully vaccinated, you will require the full recommended dose of one or a combination of the following vaccines. Pfizer-BioNTech Moderna AstraZeneca Janssen slash Johnson & Johnson Barrett Biotech Sinopharm BIBP Sinovac Please keep in mind that passengers must upload their documents via the ArriveCan app or website. Updates for Canadian nationals from the 10 affected countries. Vaccinated passengers coming from the countries will be required to get tested on arrival. Those passengers who test positive at the airport will be required to isolate at home or a quarantine facility. If they test negative, they may quarantine at home or assigned quarantine facility. They need to then provide a day 8 test. If it is negative, they can finish their quarantine at day 14. If it is positive, they must isolate for 10 more days. Please keep in mind that unvaccinated travelers coming from the prohibited countries will have the same obligations. Updates for vaccinated passengers from other countries, except the US. Passengers from countries other than the US and the 10 prohibited African countries will be required to complete an arrival test. They will then have to quarantine at home until they get their outcomes. If their test comes back negative, they can be let go from quarantine. If it comes back positive, they need to isolate for another 10 days. Lastly, let's talk about the updates for unvaccinated passengers coming from other countries, except the US. Please keep in mind that unvaccinated passengers who are permitted to come to Canada will be subject to the same rules as passengers from the prohibited countries. They need to take a test on arrival and quarantine for 14 days. If their on-arrival test comes back negative, 
they will still have to complete the rest of the quarantine period and submit a test on the eighth day. If their day eight test return negative, then their quarantine finishes on day 14. If it comes back positive, they must isolate for another 10 days. Our video ends here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button. You can also share your opinion with us by commenting below. We'll be back with more updates tomorrow.